you may heard about the beauty of Vainad. But do you know how beautiful it is during the monsoon? Here I will show you how peaceful it will be during off season. And if you are first time watching us, I am Pooja and I do travel related videos. So guys before starting kindly like and subscribe to our channel. Good morning. Today is the day 3 of our Vaina trip. From last night it raining continuously. We are staying in a resort named Upavan. Let's give a quick tour of this property. This theme of traditional architecture fits well with surrounding nature. Reception and restaurant along with the pool area. We parked our car here and we are staying in that room. As this property is located on a hill, they have rooms available in different elevation. You can choose as per your budget. As you climb up, the surroundings become more green and beautiful. Look at the roof. Location is convenient and close to major tourist spot of Vaina. It's 9 o'clock. First, we will go to our room for change and then we will have our breakfast. So, we are staying in this room. It's quite big with attached balcony and they provide complimentary buffet breakfast, which includes both South Indian and North Indian food options. This is the first time I am trying this idiopum. It is very soft, made off of rice flour and the texture is like noodles. It is famous in most parts of Tamil Nadu and Kerala. Now we are going for check out. As the room are situated on a hill, they provide a saddle service to drop the visitors to the reception. Today we are going to first visit to Lucky Day Viewpoint which is 2 km distance from the resort. The drive itself to Lucky Day Viewpoint is very scenic and the continuous rain makes it more attractive. So friends we are in Lucky Day Viewpoint. The picturesque landscape, misty clouds and lush greenery of the hills make Lucky Day Viewpoint a photographer's paradise. As clouds hover over the hills, it creates a surreal and dreamy atmosphere. We spend some time here and capture some beautiful memories. Friends, when we came, it was cloudy and raining heavily. And all of a sudden, the rain stopped and we get this clear view. From the viewpoint, you can get breathtaking views of the rolling hills, lush green valleys and hairpin bends. It's like a green carpet spread over the vast landscape. From here, our next destination is Pukude Lake, which is nearly 4 km distance. Friends, from last night, it is raining continuously, not even stop for 5 minutes. So, we are not sure how much we can cover today. So, we reach Pukude Lake. After parking, we need to walk around 200 meters to reach the lake. This is the entrance of the lake. 
the boating charges will be applicable. Surrounding the lake, there is a walkway which is maintained very well. Here we found something new. It's called brining. It's a type of pickling process where vegetables and some of the fruits soaked in the salt water and used. They have unique taste that cannot be explained. You have to taste it to know the difference from the regular one. The lake itself is beautiful and with its clear water reflecting the surrounding forest and hills. The freshwater lake has the shape of an Indian map which can only be captured by drone. There are boating facilities for the tourists and also a park for children. The main attraction of this lake is boating. Due to heavy rain, we are avoiding that for now and we spend some good time here. You can find here few shopping stalls for handicraft work and spices. These shops are owned by district tourism. You can get plenty of things made up of bamboos and coconut husks. After buying some memorable stuff from here, now we are heading towards Madibur zip line, which is 7 km distance from here. This endless greenery and the untapped nature, as far as the eye can see, the town of Vayana loaded with dense flora and fauna. So, friends, we are in Madibur zip line. There is limited parking space. Here, you can experience a beautiful breathtaking fly over the tea plantation. It won't take much time and you can do it while passing through the place. But due to heavy rain, they stopped their service for today. They charge is 350 per person and the whole ride will take 40 seconds only. But it's fun to pass over the green carpet of tea plantation. We spend some time enjoying the nature and rain with a cup of hot tea. This was one of the best moments of this trip. Guys, it's around 1.30 and after having a quick bite, now our next destination is Banasura Sagar Dam which is around 19 km from here. On the way, there is a tea museum which you can visit. But we already visited that, for now we are skipping it. cost is 40 rupees for adults and 20 rupees for children. From here you can get a saddle service which will take you to the top and it was really helpful to the elderly people. We decided to walk but it's a pleasant trek through the nature. The walk to the dam is slightly uphill but that is well worth the effort. This dam is incredibly massive and it's the largest art dam in India and second largest dam in Asia. The clear water of the reservoir is surrounded by lush green hills and it's dotted with tiny island. Guys, one more thing, don't forget to bring raincoat here. Umbrella is not going to work here.
the dam its reservoir and the small islands against the backdrop of a majestic hill form a coming visual it's an enchanting treat to the eyes after this wonderful visit now we are heading towards tirunelli forest where we are staying tonight inside a tiger reserve forest and also we'll go for a night safari and tomorrow we are planning to visit the famous mahavishnu temple take me right now it's 4:30 and from banasura sagar dam to tirunelli is around 50 km distance and it will take near 1 and 1/2 hour as it raining continuously driving through this road are itself is an adventurous and the place is less populated this is tholpetti reserve forest area we are passing through dense forest where we often encounter sign boards of wild animals you just need to be careful of elephant which might come in your way as we go the forest become more dense and at a certain point we got scared also as there are no habitant on both side of the road and the road was completely empty finally we arrive our resort named agraham we are staying in this room tonight and this is the view from outside they have around 20 individual cottages and which will give you a proper jungle vibe after a quick freshen up now we are going out for night safari this safari offers a heart throbbing experience to the tourist which cannot be offered in daylight they pick up us at 7:30 from the resort and it's a 2 hours of safari and after that they will drop us in the same place this safari will cost us 2500 the guide are extremely talented to spot animal in this darkness we spot many deer bison rabbit and elephant we are very lucky to see the life of wild animals at night and it's a different sight to see so guys we are ending our day here if you like our video